So now we're going to look at the manipulation of the lumbar spine in a bit more detail. In order to do this, you need to get your patient in a sideline position, so on their side. So if I can get you on your side, please, sir. That's great. And you want them to extend their bottom leg, so if you can straighten out your bottom leg, please. And you want them to bend their top leg, and you can flex their knee, so their, their foot is behind their knee, so that acts as a support. And that adds a bit of rotation to the spine, and that's going to be one of the ways I induce motion in the back. Now I need him to twist all the way down to the lower spine, so I can reduce how mobile that area is in order for my manipulation to work effectively. So I can grab onto his arm or I can ask him to twist. I can bring my arm underneath and I can twist him through. Really. So if I get you to hold onto your elbows, so there's different contexts you can use here. I, I use under underneath the elbows, so get the patient to hold onto their elbows. My elbow is in the armpit area, being careful not to press directly into the armpit. And now I've got a bit, I've got the spine locked up and the movement is focused at the lumbar spine. So that's where I want it. And I've got some space to move the patient. Now I can gently rock the patient and for a larger patient, it tends to work better to gently rock the patient to get them to relax. And then what I want to do is I'm going to, my line of thrust is going to be my forearm is in just behind the, the patient's hip joint. So just in that direction, I'm going to roll the patient over towards me, get them to take a deep breath in, and then I'm going to thrust downwards down onto my elbow area. So through this arm, I'm going to thrust down. So I'm not pushing forward, I'm pushing my way over and pushing straight down with my torso. So if I get you to take a deep breath in for me please sir, and breathe out. 